So go at home, man. Go on to tell the people that don't know you where you from. What's your name? Where you from? Big dog, man. C Lo, man. Bottom boy for life, man. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? Concentration camp. You know what I'm saying? Camp life entertainment. I was growing up Southside Baton Rouge. I mean, it, it, it was what it was, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it was uh, it was uh, you had to get it out the mud in South Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? But that's why so many champs come from down there. You know what I'm saying? What you tell people that are from Baton Rouge? What to expect when they come to Baton Rouge? Oh, uh, you can't really come to Baton Rouge looking for a lot of unity. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got to stand on your own too, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to put their own work in and BR. You know what I'm saying? So ain't really no team players in Baton Rouge. You got to know how to function on your own, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you were when you first started rapping, and uh, who was some of the people you looked up to that made you start? Man, honestly, like uh, E40 and Jay Prince. That's the two people who made me want to start a record label. Not start rapping, though, because I ain't want to rap. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to start a record label. I just happened to start rapping, and you know, caught on. You know. All right, so what year you dropped your first CD and uh, what year you started Concentration Camp? Man, Who's Gonna Ride was my first CD I dropped in 1994. You know what I'm saying? 1994, Who's Gonna Ride? We formed the camp probably three years later in 1997 when we put out the first Concentration Camp album. 96, now it's two years later, 1996. First Concentration Camp album. Who were some of the members of the Concentration Camp? Uh, me, Young Bleed. Uh, Max Manelli, Buddha Boss Player, uh, Jay Vaughn, and Boosie Badass. Out of all the names just named, Boosie's name stuck out the most. Uh, how, you, how you got linked up with him? Uh, Boosie was from the, from the bottom, you know. He was a little dude hanging out on the block, man. And you know, a uh, partner named Frog brought him to me. Say, uh, you know, he was, he was pretty good at rapping. He had a lot of raps he wrote, so he brought him to me, let me hear him. You know, he sounded good, you know what I'm saying? I put him in the booth. His first time in the booth, he killed it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when you when you got a hand on him, you knew he was going to be as big as he was? No, I knew that. I, I knew that from day one, you know what I'm saying? From the first time I heard him, you know, he was doing his own thing. He wasn't influenced by what was going on outside, you know what I'm saying? It, it was all about his vision, what he saw, you know what I'm saying? And he had the nuts to push it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, while you had concentration camp, you messed around and got in a little trouble. Doing, it was a critical time I went, you know what I'm saying? Where it cost me a lot, you know what I'm saying? But that's, you know, that's just part of the game. I see a lot of the youngsters going through that right now, man, you know? And and, and I know over time how much, uh, what kind of financial toll that'll take on you, you know what I'm saying? Like you lose a lot of money, you end up in the future being like, damn, man, I lost millions of dollars on some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I mean, but you know, as long as you're a hustler, man, you get back out here and you get it, you know? All right, and when you got out of jail, I believe you started Camp Life when you got out. Yeah, Camp Life, yeah. And uh, who was the member of that? Oh, uh, that was still Boosie. That was still uh, uh, Reno, Reno the gutter. Still Max Manelli, you know what I'm saying? It was still all the same people except for, uh, I think Buddha Boss played with CTE at the time. He was with CTE then when I came home. And Young Ready and Cruiser came over. Yeah, I'm Young Ready, yeah, Young Ready. <laughs> Alright, so when you go to sign up artists, what you look for into artists? Oh, I look for originality, man. I look for confidence. You know what I'm saying? If you're original and you're confident, ain't nothing you can't sell. You know what I'm saying? What advice you'll give upcoming artists that are looking to get into the rap game? Oh, uh, man, sell yourself, man. You know, like, like do you. Do your thing, man. You gotta be original. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't watch what everybody else doing and try to mimic that because you'll never be as good as them at doing them. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to do you, man. Develop you to the point to where you make yourself undeniable. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's going to take you everywhere you're trying to go. Can the artists have one foot in the studio, another foot in the streets and still be successful? It depends on what type of artist he is. If you're a street artist, it's a requirement. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you, you, you can't stay in tune with the consumer, with your fan base. You know what I'm saying? If you're not really like in the streets, you don't really know the streets. You know what I'm saying? Would you think for it take Baton Rouge local artists to be as big as Atlanta artists or any other major city? 
They already got a bunch of artists big as Atlanta and any other major city. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, well, look, we got the number one bad. We got the number one artist in the country right now. And they're young boy. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Gates went platinum. Boosie. You know what I'm saying? The camp. You know? You know, Bad, bad Rouge is a small city, man. But Bad Rouge holding his weight. You know what I'm saying? And if I can remember, a while back you were signed to Priority Records. Yeah, distribution. I had distribution through Priority. Why you don't think they ever put like the real money behind you to be like on the J Prince level, the Best B level? Because it, it was just distribution and, and, and I was high risk. Because I was in the streets. I, you know, like you say, I was in and out of prison, stuff like that. That was high risk. Didn't make sense, you know? Hmm. All right, uh, with all this stuff going on in 2020 with Corona, how did that affect your 2020 with the coronavirus? Well, 2020 coronavirus, for a lot of artists, I know it slowed down a lot of shows, shut down a lot of shows. You know what I'm saying? Shut down a lot of shows for artists. For me, you know, it's, it shut down shows for me too, but it don't really affect me the way it affects other artists. Because I was never signed to a label and I own all my copyrights from any music I ever put out, you know, 36 albums. So streaming and stuff like that, man, you know, I'm, you know, that's pretty much my thing, you know, copyright ownership, you know, so, so, you know, I can generate income without actually having to go perform and stuff like that but you know shout out to all the mortgage man that's losing a lot of money performing hopefully man this, this shit get over with man we can you know what i'm saying get back to the money all right uh with Breonna taylor and george floyd what you think need to be done to stop the police violence in black man i really don't know bro i don't know i don't, I, I really just don't know man you know i grew up the way I grew up, you know what I'm saying? And 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 the only thing I knew people respect when I grew up, man, was pain, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you could look for sympathy, you can look for, you know, understanding, you know, stuff. I mean, that's sometimes that's just not there, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta protect yourself, man, you just gotta man up, man, you know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta get your respect, you gotta take it, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's just how I feel, you know. Alright, man, I know that's going on, wrap it up. What people gonna expect from you in the near future? Man, uh, they can expect more music, more movies, uh, big dog marketing, you know what I'm saying? That's my new marketing company coming, you know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be my next venture. That's gonna be the marketing, promotion, and management of artists, you know? In the orders and bad rules right now, a music producer you think hot that's need more exposure? Oh, uh, no, 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 I can't think of none. You know, all, 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 all the BR greats like uh, Be Real, Q Red, Mouse, Lil Keith, the boys doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's got a few. I think I heard uh, Playboy, Playboy XO, that guy there, nice. Or uh, Chris, Chris James. You know, them dudes up and come in. They, they doing their thing, bro. They, they working for theirs. You know what I'm saying? So, so man, it's a lot of, a lot of dope producers. And BR. Big Dog, CeeLo, Big BR, Big Bad Rude. You heard me? Much love. I'm out.